Last year, we chose Beautiful Feet curriculum for my fifth grader. Um, we did the Around California with Children's books. And this is from Beautiful Feet books. And it was our first time ever using any curriculum from them. And I did show the books in the video that I did showing all the curriculum we were going to be using for fifth grade. But we really enjoyed it and I just wanted to make another video just highlighting this one specific curriculum. One of the things I really liked about this curriculum was how beautiful the teacher's guide is. Um, this has all of your lessons. It has real photographs and it just makes it look really nice. So here you have a list of all the supplies that you're going to need to be adding to your notebook. And it does come with the notebook and in here you add everything from the history lessons to the nature study. So you keep it all together in one notebook. And here it explains how to do the notebooking. So pretty much after you, you read your books and you're done with your lessons, then you add to your notebook, you add a picture, you use your watercolors or whatever you're going to use, colored pencils, crayons, and then you write a little bit about what you just learned. This shows you all of the books. And it begins with the Ice Age. So my boys are really into dinosaurs and mammoths. So this section was very exciting for them. So. I thought that was actually such an awesome thing that it actually began way back in the Ice Age. So um, for this time period, there was only a couple books. So you start reading The Discovery of the Americas, and you don't read this whole book at once. It will tell you the pages to read. Um, and at what time. So you will be using this later on as well. And then, Once Upon a Mastodon. And then once you read your books, and here it tells you exactly what to do, what pages to read. It even has like questions that you can use with your kids and then have them narrate back to you. Once they do that, then you add to your notebook. So in the back of the guide are all the pictures that they're going to need so you just photocopy them and then um, they recommend using rubber cement to glue them onto the notebook and then do your watercolors and then you add a little bit of um, information about each subject and there's usually a nature connection along with the, the lessons so after you read your books and read the lessons there's nature and then it also has a library connection so these are extra books that you can check out from your library if the kids want to d dig deeper into a certain topic or subject and then it moves on to the California Indians so for this section, um, we read Island of the Blue Dolphins, Adopted by Indians, A True Story, and the California Indians. 
I learned a lot myself from all of these books. Things I never knew about our state. Okay. And again, it's the same thing. You have each lesson broken down for you. And a lot of the lessons, not every lesson, but a lot of them will have a video. So most of them are on YouTube. It will tell you to go to YouTube and look for the certain video that goes perfect with the lessons that you're learning. And the videos, um, we enjoyed every single one. They're very short. Average, they're about 5 to 10 minutes long. And it just added more, another element, I guess, to the lesson. So it wasn't just reading and reading. So that was something else that we really liked as well. And here is the nature connection for this section here. The California otters and a few other animals as well. And your library connection. So if you wanted to learn more about the Native Americans um, in this part of the country, there's a list of other books that you can check out as well. And here is the recipes. So for this one, you will be making the acorn flour cake. And then the same thing you will be adding, or the student will be adding to the notebook as they go along. The next part is the discovery and exploration. So as you can see, you will be reading again from the discovery of the Americas that you started with in the beginning. And then you will also be reading from the story of California. And this one is the same thing as the other book. You won't read the whole thing at once. It will tell you um, when to read certain sections. This one has beautiful illustrations. Also, the cruise of the Arctic star. And um, you start this book and then this book will last you all the way up to almost the very end of the year. So you will be reading through this throughout most of the year. Oh, sorry, that doesn't go in this section. <laughs> so those are the ones for discovery and exploration. So you will be learning about all the explorers that came to California in the very beginning from Spain and other countries. And then, let's see, your library connection, if you want extra books, your nature connection, and there's also um, field trips that they recommend you take if you are able to. And then your recipe. And of course, you would be adding to the notebook as you go along. The 
next section is the mission era. And here you will be reading from Song of the Swallows and Junipero Serra. I think I'm not sure how exactly to say his name. Junipero. I think it's Junipero Serra. Um, but this was a very nice book as well. It has really nice pictures also. And we learned a lot, me as well. And this is a really sweet book. So after reading this one, I remember there was a video we watched all about the swallows and the swallows that live um, in some of the missions. So that was really fun. We actually did get to go on a little field trip to one of the missions, um, the one that is close to where we live, so that was a lot of fun. It was really nice. It had a beautiful garden. It was very lovely there. And then your library connection with all the extra books, if you'd like, that's optional. Your nature connection. Oh, and like I said, uh, there is a map that the kids will be adding to as you go. So the you print out the two pages in the back, and then you have to put it together. And then as they go, they add to their map. And here is the recipe for this section. This one has more than one recipe. And after that, you move to the Pathfinders and Pioneers. And again, you will be reading from the Arctic Star book. And you will also read Patty Reed's Doll. This is the story of the Donner Party, but it is um, written for children. So I was wondering how they were gonna tell the story. I didn't want my kids to be, um, you know, like kind of, I mean, the story is very tragic, so, but they did a really good job telling it, I think. We didn't have any issues with the story. I think they did a great job. And then, Jesse Benton Fremont. We really enjoyed this book as well. Here's your library connection, your nature connection. We learned about Jedediah Smith and we learned about the grizzly bears among other animals. So that one was a really, um, a favorite story of ours. And here is your recipes for this section and again you know you're adding to your notebook as you're moving along yes we also read about Kit Carson This was one of the nature connections.
The next section is the Gold Rush and the Transcontinental Railroad. There were some really good books in this section. So, um, by the Great Horn Spoon was one of them. This is the Gold Rush Adventure. Riders of the Pony Express. And we loved this book. I think this might have been our favorite from th from the whole year. I mean, we liked all the books, but this one, something about this one. It just had so much adventure and just knowing that the stories we were reading were true and were real. Um, I was fascinated by it along with my kids. So I think I can say that this was probably our favorite book. It got us really interested in the Pony Express writers. In this section, you, we will, you will also be learning about John Muir and um, what he did for the environment. And there is also a video about his life that we watched at the end when we were done reading about his life. So that was a, a nice little video as well. Coolies is another book. And Locomotive. This book is beautiful. I mean, the illustrations alone. There's Abraham Lincoln. This author has other books that we liked this one so much that we are going to purchase the other ones by the same author. So this was really nice. My kids have always loved trains ever since they were little toddlers. So this, this one was a favorite as well. So you have all your lessons, your library connection. That's a real photograph of President Roosevelt and John Muir. Here is more on the Pony Express. That's a real picture too. So your library connection. Okay. So here they included a little section on Pio Pico, the last Mexican governor of California. Um, there is a video also we had trouble locating this one particular video, um, but let's see. You might have better luck than I did, though. <laughs> Here's um, field trip connection. And then we read, with open hands, a story about Biddy Mason. This was a really good book as well. And historical connection. So this is a page where if you want to learn about the San Francisco earthquake of 1906, there are some books they recommend. And we actually own this one, so we were able to read this one by the Magic Tree House. And your nature connection. For this part, we read The Forest and the Trees, and we were, this was a really good book too. Um, so over here in California, there's lots of redwood trees and sequoia trees that are really just giant, giant trees. And we've seen them, we've gone and seen the redwoods, but we had no idea of all the animals and all the life of plants not just animals, 
that exists at the very top of these giant trees. So this was really good. We learned so much from this one. And it has beautiful pictures as well. So I highly recommend this book too. So this was part of the nature connection. And then you add the trees to your notebook as well. And here is your recipe. Hangtown Fry. So this would be a recipe that they made during like the gold rush time. And there's more recipes on the back of the page. And then the very last section is the 20th century to contemporary. So here you will be reading one of my favorite books, Blue Willow. I just remember reading this when I was like in third grade. My teacher from elementary school, one of them gave it to me as a gift. So I was excited to read this with my own kids now. Then you will read Esperanza Rising, another good book. And you will also learn about Walt Disney. We are big Disney fans in our family, so this was fun. And also about Steve Jobs. Library Connection. So, um... You do read a little bit about Kate's sessions, and then you add to the notebook as well. And the beautiful, you learn about all the beautiful trees that she planted in California. Here is another library connection about Julia Morgan. And then you will add her to the notebook as well. And another library connection. And your recipes at the very end. So as you could see, this is beautifully done. And you can take your time and add in any of these extra books they suggest if you'd like. And really dig deep into the history of California. So this is a poem. It's um, the California story. So um, they suggest... As you're adding in your little characters to the notebook, you can copy some of the pieces from the California story that go with that section. What we did, we made copies of this, and um, like at the beginning of the Ice Age, we, we put that part there. And then so for every section, we put the whole poem from that part. And then my son sometimes would write, he would do research online and find out a few, little bit more information on what he was learning and then he would add that to his notebook. So you could do it um, exactly how they suggest or you can change it up a little bit however works best for you. Here is an answer key.
And then in the very back, you have all your drawings. So these are the nature ones. So you will photocopy all of these and then use watercolors and color them in and add them as you go. This is the timeline images. These little missions are the ones that you add to the map. and the map that you will be using. And that is it. Um, I think this was a perfect choice for us this last year. Um, my son was doing like fifth grade level and this was just perfect. Um, we loved all the living books. We liked every single one. Um, I just loved the way they did this teacher guide. I just thought it was so nicely put together. So beautiful. It was very easy to do all the lessons. Um, I, it was a great study for us this last year. So I just wanted to go ahead and share that with anyone that was wondering about this particular curriculum. I hope that was helpful and useful, and thank you so much for watching.